Hi, this is Patty Jackson. This edition of Patty TV, we're gearing up for the March for Babies. Sunday, May 22nd, we're going to be at the Art Museum. Tracy Davidson from NBC10, my good girlfriend, is joining us. We've been doing this for a few years now. A it's few a, years it's forever. A great <laughs> <laughs> but she leads the charge, and it's all about saving the lives of premature babies. It, it's, it's a great cause. We always have a lot of fun at the Art Museum. We always have a lot of fun. There are great teams. It's a great thing to do to come out with the family. And when you think about it what's more important than saving babies that are born so so small we want to be able to give them a chance at life and so that's what we're doing we are my son was three pounds he literally filled it it yeah. was in the palm of my hands he was this small 10 years old uh, doing so well, but I know what it's like to be in that NICU unit and so many children are born premature. There's so much information that we have to get out there. I always say to women, if you are of childbearing years, you got to watch your coffee intake. You got to get your dental exams. We don't know the cause of it. But there are many things that can help prevent so that you don't have a premature birth. And the NICU units are crowded. I, I likened it to being at a very popular place because there were so many yeah. babies in there. So many babies. Which, I mean, it's great that we're able to help them grow up strong. Mm -hmm. But we can, only be, we, we can only do that by the research and what's being made available through the March of Dimes, which is why we turn out, which is why we have a great time. And we walk and we run. This year there's yes. a run. Family teams, corporate teams, it's going to be great. Now, there's a big lunch that takes place uh, for the March of Dimes where you get to a really appeal because there are a lot of corporate places and businesses that are jumping on board. How is that for you really getting out and letting people know how important this is for the March of Dimes? Well, I think that people don't realize we have incredible medical facilities here but there's still so much to be done. In fact, Dr. Jay Greenspan, who has been a, he, he's a NICU doctor, yes. and, uh, and he tells the statistic that a child born in Philadelphia versus a child born in Trinidad and Tobago, that the child born in Trinidad and Tobago has a better chance of survival than one born in Philadelphia. There is so much that we need to do to make sure that we have healthy babies in Philadelphia and it and it yes. it's that's shocking I mean so that's just the number that's the headline you know in terms of getting the information out that's the headline people need to know but we have the ability to to fund the research that March of Dimes does through fun things like this walk yeah Sunday May 22nd we're going to be at the steps of the art museum we've weathered bad weather we've weathered <laughs> chilly weather rain so we're really hoping that we're blessed with a beautiful day but we don't care because we're like bring it we're going to be there at the art museum and there's so much we start with fitness and there's music and there's fun and a lot of wonderful people who come out to really help us get the word out about saving premature babies Looking forward to it. Hope it, you'll join us. It's going to be a great Sunday. We certainly hope you can. On the web, marchforbabies.org. They have all the information you need. If you'd like to join us out there on the steps of the Art Museum, we will be there this Sunday spreading the word. March of Dimes, we love you and the great work they're doing to help premature babies. Tracy Davidson, NBC10, love you. Love Thank you. you. Thank you. Mwah.